Yo, what's going on guys? Gonna be playing some full AP Nunu in the jungle. Of course, we have Phase Rush to keep up our Dark Harvest stacks and Mesh stacks. Nimbus Celerity Water Walking, Cheap Shot Relentless, Double AP and Armor. Full AP Nunu, I think, is in a better spot this patch than it was last patch because this patch, loads of keystones got nerfed, such as Conqueror, Lethal Tempo, Dark Harvest, Electrocute, just to name a few. The ones that were mainly untouched was Phase Rush and the Tank Keystones. So that leaves Nunu in a pretty good spot because his best keystone was already Phase Rush. And this one wasn't affected at all. Since we are on blue side start, I have uh, Q into E instead of Q into W. It was a weird start. I didn't have it recording, but we did an invade and it went pretty bad. We did end up getting two assists though, which is nice because now we have two Relentless Hunter stacks. I want to try to camp the Kane. Kane top is incredibly greedy. Although it can do well if you don't gank it. It's a fragile pick. We need to get over there and try to punch it as much as possible. For our build, obviously going to be early Dark Seal, probably in the mesh, and we want to stack as much magic penetration as possible, so things like Sork Shoes and Shadow Flame are going to be huge for us. Very, very big. Go ahead and pop W. Nunu can clear off the blue side like you see, but he does start better on red buff and it wraps with W. It's a bit more efficient, more pop to it, a little more pep. It's kind of tricky to gank Vex because if her fear cancels our snowball, so we'll see. We'll see. I want to come top here. Hopefully, Scion doesn't over push it. I'll be able to clear this with my next Q rotation with Smite. Jarvan's definitely not a great matchup. Nunu doesn't really have good jungle matchups, but he does have good survivability against pretty much all of them. So even though they're not good, they can't necessarily kill us. So we'll go ahead and pop Ghost and a W. I don't think she has flash, and I saw she burned her fear, so. Got the knock of an E. I don't mind letting Nefari have the kill, but it looked like she was about to die, so I'll help her with that. She needs to push the wave. Is she not gonna push or what? When you're helping push, you wanna try to make it clear you're not trying to take the last hits, otherwise your teammates might AFK on you. They'll get real upset, real salty, steamed like a carrot. Like an overcooked bagged bagged carrots or bagged broccoli. Absolutely foul. All right, time to reset. We're sitting on a lot of gold. We can pick up tier two boots or just grab dark seal, amp tome boots. I figured Jar Jarvan was about to see me is the main reason why I backed. Because if he's about to see me, like, why am I even staying on the map? I can't solo him. Ooh, he's got the D-Blade cheese. They buff Doran's items for those of you who don't know. So as a jungler, if you have to do an early back for whatever reason, or if you do an early back, you can pick up a Doran item, especially D-Blade. Super strong. They gave all the Doran items an extra health. So 100 health, that's a pretty big deal. Because it's 1080 in Omni Vamp. It's uh, way, 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 way more value than a longsword, but obviously it doesn't build anything, so it's mainly just for the early cheese. I don't think it's that worth it this game, because I'm not going to be trying to solo him. I'm new, new. And maybe if he's up against a jungler, who's going to try to solo him? We missed the knockup. That's horrendous. That chick has a tiny hitbox. It's nuts. You never really want to reset while you have a scuttle crab up, so like right now it would be really stupid for us to back. Like Lucian just recalled, that's upsetting. All right, we'll go for it. We press W. Soraka seems to be baiting it. Can't believe Lucian back when we were right here. Got the knockup and the double E auto Q. Got the snare. Soraka, don't know why she retreated, but she did. I may not have enough damage for this. There goes my phase rush. Trying to block this guy off. Rocket needs to move into me. I think I got him with that snare. I can stop him with my W. You can short hop your W on Nunu. Use it almost like an owl star Q. Just hover it where the enemies are going to be. Knock him out of their dash. I'll leave this right here. I want to know when he's coming over here. Oof, top lane dying. We, we're going to need to get drags. I can tell. It's one of those games. We still have scuttle up, so let's use this speed up. With our W. Our W lasts for 10 seconds. Any speed up affecting it before will persist for the full 10 seconds. And we do miss the knockup, but we're on her. She dies. 
It's the right outcome. I'm sad we can't get to her though, man. She's got such a little body. Tiny, tiny, tiny. Like almost smaller than Teemo. Maybe smaller than Teemo. Wild. Her hurt box is puny. Why am I fighting Kane? He's just trying to collect essence right now. Uh, that was bizarre, but all right. Flash and Ard. I do lose Dark Seal stacks, which sucks, but it's not the end of the world. Grab this and this. Head bot side. I'm surprised he did it just because Scion's on his turret. You don't really want to let Scion free farm. He gets a bunch of uh, permanent health and whatnot. He's getting plates, so. Very weird for Nunu to actually, I mean for uh, Kane to actually be there. We'll go ahead and go. So W... Try to get to the Kaisa. She might not retreat when she sees just the rock unless Rock tries to push her away. Got it. This rocket damage is actually really high. The fact we were able to get that's so good. We're going to R. Jarvis got nowhere to go. Let's see, it's got flash. Skadoosh! I take the whole wave. It's perfect. Beautiful. Already getting my Dark Seal stacks back. They got Dragon though. We could play double herald, try to end early. He got red cane for him off me. That sucks. Probably why I didn't want to invade. I didn't want to give Kane a bunch of free essence. Let's get a second form so fast. I think we can do this. I need her to use an ability though. Oh, she used it. That fool. I don't mind taking the kill, man. I have dark seal. I need these stacks. Got it. <laughs> he's still level 5 because he's been ganking so much. And then he took Dragon. I do no damage. It's hilarious. I mean, he can't kill me, but <laughs> I do no damage right now. Nice job to Scion killing the Kane. Kane needs items. Hey, friend. Knock up E and the Q. Down he goes. We can run down Phase Rush Day on top. Not looking to take the last hits. It's so important to mention that. I would Q that, but I think my Q would kill it since the rocket used her Q. Still got a little bit of scuttle left. We could go mid. In fact, that's exactly what I'll do. Ooh, Jarvan's not six. Get the knock up and the eat. Down she goes. I wish I had R. Good dump on him right now. It's big fat. Colossal load, man. Just <laughs> drop him straight in the uh, septic tank there. <laughs> they need to make a, a sewer new new skin. That would be awesome. He just throws <laughs> two new feces at you with his E. And his W is a massive turd that he pushes. I guess it would be a dung beetle new new skin. Just straight up pushing his pile of dung around. That would be bad. That would be so good. Bad in a good way. Kai says no boots. I'm 10 stack dark, so I think we can make this work. Got it with the snare. Ooh, I might actually die here. Yeah, this is dicey. I gotta wait for Lucian. Yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. You guys thought you were real tough just a minute ago. Real tough. I mean, nothing. That's right, Lucian. Teach him a lesson. <laughs> Wait till my brother gets here. Came in. Saved me. I like it. You're doing a good job of dodging my big old balls. I'll tell you that. We'll go mesh. We're pumping and thumping. Might as well. It may be my top side. Uh, actually makes me nervous. Red King could thrash me pretty good. I'm full squishy at the moment. Okay, he's top. That's cool. Jarvis taking the objectives. So in this case, they're actually, in my opinion, ahead since they got Herald and Dragon. If I die, we just straight up lose because they get a big shutdown and I lose all my mesh stacks. It's the biggest uh, worry with AP Nunu is if you die and blow your stacks, you lose. And you could play them without the stacks, but you lose so much carry potential. And is his dash up? Probably, because it's the world's lowest cooldown. He flashes anyways. All right, that's cool. 
That's not bad. Siren's probably happy with that. He got a kill and Jarvan Flash. That's a pretty good outcome. I'll go for Bot Scuttle here. Those minions are going to see me. Dang. Come on, Nefuri. Push that wave. Skadoosh. My W's on cooldown, but it is what it is. We had to get here. You never max W first because it doesn't get faster per level. It gets faster per your champion level. But your E slow, or the damage, movement, speed slow, and cooldown all improve. Hey, friend. W into E's. Man, I wish I got that kill. Got two stacks. Dragon's coming up. Don't know how they're going to fight for it. I don't think they can. They'll get destroyed if they do. Here we go. Scuttle speed up with W. And skadoosh. Got the snare. We're chilling, man. She took so much damage from my E's. They buffed a the AP Nunu E scaling. It was a couple patches back, two or three. It's feeling, it's feeling good. Got with my snowball. <laughs> my ghost. I don't feel like getting tag teamed by those turd burglars. Wow, he's got a lot of gold spent. I'm actually glad I ghosted there. Jarvan had R and before he was too low to back me up. That, that, that could have gone really ugly for us there. I think Jarvan hesitated. Maybe he didn't see Nefuri's health instantly. So his second he had to use his ability kind of ran out on his R. Hey, friend. I didn't get my W off on really anyone there. Big R, it's a double. I canceled it early because I figured Lucian might die. There was no escape. Soraka got down a beautiful E, a good slow as well. So there's no way they're going to get out of my full charge R. Only canceled it because I saw Lucian was extremely low. They're getting devastated. I gotta see. Gotta consume their tears. I like how Nunu's Q is just says consume, but then his W's biggest snowball ever. I kind of miss the old Nunu, the one where you could your snowball wasn't a skill shot. You go full AP Nunu mid and dunk on kids <laughs> just press e e spam for the win the old blood boil too man that attack speed is really something i kind of wish you could still play the old versions of champions with a special skin or something with the classic new skin or classic karma skin but they're gone forever so if you, if you really came to enjoy it tough titty right Got scuttle speed up. Might be able to pull this off. Oh, Galio's here. Man, people fall for Soraka bait all day long. They love dying to Soraka's. They think they can kill somebody, not realizing Soraka can heal. I'll eat that. Your Q heals you more against non-champions, which is funny. It also heals you more if you're below half health. So you can, you can get some massive turbo heals where you'll have 20% health and now all of a sudden you have 85 90% health. Okay, it's time for Rocket Belt. You could go for a Night Harvester. Rocket Belt's better though because of the magic penetration. And we'll push Shadow Flame as well. Typically, you use your W around halfway mark. You can push it all the way out into a camp when you have base speed up. Base speed up is 14 or 15 minute mark. It used to be 20 minute mark up until this season. And then before, even before that, like many years ago, probably right season five, it was, you had to buy the boots home guards. You had different boot options, like you had tier two boots and then you had a boot enhancement you could purchase. Most people just go home guards though. And that's why they ended up just getting rid of it. All right, I'm out of here, you stinkers. Oh, Vex is still going for it, man. I got a rocket belt. She's not even a full item. I'm full mesh. Skadoosh. Got it. Beautiful. Auto W. 
Give me that kill, baby. Oh, Soraka took it. What a turd burglar. Yeah, I mean, they're in a tough spot, even if they do have a dragon. Okay, well, Ghost W for this. I see Kaisa's mid. Spotted her. Peeped her on mini map. Got it. <sighs> Skadoosh. <laughs> <laughs> Poor Kaisa, man. That's brutal. Kane's all by himself over here. Rocket belt with ease. Kind of flashed out of my queue there. I didn't finish going off. Ooh, hey, Kane. I'll back the Lucian up over the wall with my ease. Short hop. My uh, W on him. I don't have rocket belt. But I got my autos. Why Soraka? Oh my god, come on. Let me get the kills. Didn't even see Lucian go back in there. Poof. Yeah, short hot W does basically zero damage. You gotta get this snowball a bit girthier, dude. It's about one auto attack's worth of damage. I think it's a little silly that Nunu moves slower. When he first starts his W. Seems uh, not necessary. Because he's. I'd get if he was S plus tier, but he's kind of low mid tier. And it makes it hard to use it when you're already in combat, your W, other than knocking people out of the air when you can tell they're about to dash or jump or leap. What's going on over here? Are we fighting this? Using my F keys to see. Oh, all right, that went really bad. Somehow Kane, he queued. I knocked him out of his queue with my W, but when he came out, he immediately had his queue up again. And they got a thousand gold from killing me, so that's bad. I should go for Zanius. It'll stop Kane. I don't think he heals off you if he doesn't do damage. I'll go Zanius after I finish this Shadow Flame. Kane's the main issue we have with their team at the moment. I'm on my way, boys. Lucian's turbo fed. He's over 3k gold up on the enemy AD carry. Outrageous. Alright, we'll focus Kane. Psych. I had to kite it back. We can't let ourselves die and lose another 10 mesh. It's not worth killing Vex if I end up dying for it. Ah, didn't get the kill. Oh, well. This fight's getting out of hand. Got with the Q. Nice, nice, nice. I don't have rocket belts. Short hot W in the east. Oh, no. My rocket baka. Got it. That stinks that Soraka died there. Finally finished our blue jungle item. So now whenever we kill the primary monster in a camp or we touch a bush, we go super fast. Oh, what? All right. Try to set up something in the bush. Let's go for a scuttle crab first. We, you always want to try to sweep a bush before you set up an R play because they might know you're there. Avoid your. You'll end up just getting yourself killed because they'll cancel your R. They can't see it if you're in a bush, but they can tell that they're being slowed if they're playing on lock screen or they're paying attention. Scion bot lane. Alright, we'll take a turret over here. Oh, they quit. That is it for the adventures of AP Nunu, guys. My goodness, let's look at the graphs. Looking at damage, we had the most damage dealt to enemy champions on our team, not the most in the game. Even though Kane was getting demolished there in the late game, he still managed to do the most, mainly off of Chunking Scion. Damage taken, middle of the pack, uh, self-mitigated. We were, eh, kind of middle-ish. Nowhere close to Scion. For runes, high value. All in all, AP Nunu feels decent. I'm not a big fan of playing him with 
Dark Harvest. I always just take Phase Rush or Electrocute these days. If you guys enjoyed this AP new new video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. My name is King Sticks. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.